You know, I used to laugh at cryptocurrency, at Bitcoin in general. I used to think it was silly, so I never wanted to invest in it. I thought it was very dangerous. I was like, look, this is a scam. There, It's just digital currency. Why would this even matter? What happens if the whole world goes dark? And the funny thing about it is if you think in real time, every time a technology has been introduced into the world, it's never gone away unless it was replaced by something even better with better technology. But nothing, like we never go backwards with these things. The only thing that would ever really eliminate digital currency, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, things like that, is if the entire world went dark, is if we lost the electricity, if we had so many like world wars that it just created like a lack of any electricity. And in which case you wouldn't care about any of these financial systems. You wouldn't care about any digital anything. You wouldn't care about electronics the way that we do now, because if we went into a period where everything was destroyed electronically, Bitcoin is the last of your concerns. You know what I mean? So as long as we have an internet, as long as we have electricity powering things, as long as society is still going forward and we haven't just wiped out half the earth, cryptocurrency is not going anywhere. And so I wish I would have known that and understood that long a long time ago because I first heard about Bitcoin probably, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. And even then it was a couple years old. It is super cheap. And I was like, I'm not investing in this. This is nonsense. This is just, it's a fake money. It's somebody created money. And I didn't understand anything about Bitcoin. And here's what I've noticed about Bitcoin or crypto in general. The only people that talk bad about it are the people that don't really fully understand it. I've yet to meet anybody that has done hours and hours and hours of research on Bitcoin or crypto in general that says anything negative about it. You know, I mean, of course, you're going to have a few little cons. You're going to have that with every single innovation ever in the history of time. If you look at electricity, it's amazing and it does so many things, but you can burn your house down with it. You can shock yourself, electrocute yourself. There's all kinds of things that you can do that are bad with electricity, but nobody wants to give up electricity at this point, right? There's a, there's almost every single thing in the world has a positive and a negative to it. It just depends on how you want to look at it. But the idea of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in like a fully, uh, like you can't manipulate the blockchain that it's on. You can't, like you can't manipulate and create more of it. You can't inflate it. The big problem that we're facing right now in the world, especially in America, is inflation. Well, a lot of parts of the world, but in America right now, we're dealing with like what could potentially be known as hyperinflation. And some people will say, oh, it's not, where do you define hyper? I don't really care. It's a lot of inflation, way more than we've had in a long time in over 40 years, which is older than me. So in my entire lifetime, it's never been this bad in this country. And when you're when the whole world is dealing with the U.S. dollar, the whole world will be affected by this. So even if you think that, oh, this is an American problem, it's not going to be just an American problem for long. It's going to be a big world problem. And the only way to fight against inflation is to keep your money or at least some of your money in appreciating assets because the money, the dollar has never really appreciated. It's only depreciated. I think it's something where around the line, the line of like 95 or 99.5% of the value of the U.S. dollar or we've lost 99.5% of the value of the U.S. dollar in the last 80 years. It's on average, it goes down the the value of the US dollar goes down 2% every year. There's random years thrown in there. This last year was one of them where we've had over 10%. That's just on record. The true inflation, see there's a CPI index. I don't want to get too bogged down in this. I'll do more videos on this later, but CPI, the consumer price index estimates around 10%. I think they actually estimated it a little bit less than that. But then there's other categories which measure, it's, it's this thing called trueflation, which is done on Chainlink. This is gonna be huge as long as this stays up and running and people don't try to take this down. There's, trueflation measures 94,000 different consumer goods. 94,000, that's a lot of different consumer goods in the world. It measures 94,000 consumer goods and I believe it's like around 6,000 like uh, real estate type goods, like homes, apartments, buildings, things like that, land, property. And it estimates the price every single day and how much it's gone up. And they're saying that it's at least 13.7%, I think it is, 13.2, 13.0, over almost 14% inflation just in the last year, which means, if you don't understand what this means, what it means is this, if you had $100,000 and the dollar itself is being inflated by 14%, that means that what you, you it's still gonna say that you have 100,000, but it's only gonna spend like 84 or 86,000 because you've lost 14% of your value. 
So that means that, yeah, the number in your bank account still says 100,000, but the price of everything has gone up so much that your $100,000 will only buy you what $84,000 would have bought you the year before. So it's literally like, or 86,000, I'm sorry, 14%. You're losing 14% of the value of your money. So no matter how much money you have, unless you're making more than 14% extra, you're losing money. And this is extremely important. So many people don't understand this. And this is why I make these videos now, because I want people to understand what is happening with your money. Nobody wants to be poor. Nobody wants to be broke. And a lot of people don't care to learn about investing or learn how to save money. They just want their new Jordans. They just want their new Corvette or their new Lamborghini. They just want their new big house. They just want their new yacht, right? You, anyone in crypto knows the term when Lambo, right? Because the, when, when are these bags gonna rise so much I can buy me a Lambo? And it, that's the problem is when your biggest concern is things and items and toys, you lose track of like where to put your money to prepare for what's coming next. It is always a smart strategy to at least save, at le I would at least do 10% of your money, but I try to do even more than that. But it's at least save 10% of your money because if things happen, because things always happen, you need to be able to prepare and how to fight that. Like when inflation went up, it affects all of us. However, the people with the most money, it affects them the least. So if you saved money and you prepared for this or you put your money into like some kind of an asset, not just digital, but like real estate, gold, stocks, bonds, whatever it is, if you put your money into assets that will appreciate, meaning they will gain value, regardless what the dollar number says, as long as they will gain value, you can fight against the depreciating value of your US dollar or any currency because they're all attached. The world reserve currency is the US dollar. So even if you're not spending dollars, if you live in Germany, if you live in Australia, wherever it is that you live, whatever currency you are spending, it's all attached to the US dollar. So when the US dollar gets screwed, you're getting screwed with it. It may take a little while longer. It may have to you know, funnel down to you, but it will happen. So all I'm saying is prepare yourself for this, plan for this, try to figure out a way to save enough money to fight against it. Stop worrying about, man, I got to go, I have an extra hundred bucks in my pocket. What cost a hundred dollars? I need to spend it now. I understand that the money burns a hole in all of our pockets. I'm no different. The difference is that I prepare for random events. Like world, like you have money in stocks and then the war and then some type of a war happens, all of a sudden stocks start to crash. People get scared and they sell and then your stocks are worth less. But if you're not relying on that money every day, if you have just a set of money that you just set aside and you, I don't care, this is for five years down the road, 10 years down the road, next month, next year, as long as you're preparing somewhat for the future, this will help. And when recessions happen, when depressions happen, when ran, like just excessive inflation happens, this will not screw you over. I mean, it screws us all over to some degree, but I'm just saying it won't ruin you. You know what I mean? It won't cripple you and make it to where, oh man, I had a good paying job last year, but now all of a sudden the same good paying job isn't buying the things that I used to be able to buy. Now I need to get a second job. Nobody wants to work every second of their life just to scrape by. If you plan for these events, you will be much better off down the road. And that's all I'm trying to do for you guys. I'm trying to help you figure out how to get yourself to a place where you're not living paycheck to paycheck, where if an event happens where there's inflation or a supply chain shortage or the price of toilet paper goes up, you don't have to rethink your finances in your career plan. You know what I mean? You don't have to go, okay, well, I have this great paying job. Now all of a sudden it sucks because everything's too expensive. Well, it's not the job that changed. It's the price of everything around you because of inflation, because of the value of your dollar going down. So I hope that this helps. I'm going to make more videos trying to show you what kinds of assets it's good to invest in. It, it, like I love crypto. I recently, I mean, I didn't recently get involved in it. I, over the last few years, I've been studying more and more and more trying to learn this stuff because I see that it's only going up long term. We're going to have dips. We're going to have times where it's great, times where it's low. But long term, if you look at the time that it started and then every single year after, it's just a, a constant up and to the right. It's up and to the right, baby. Now you're going to have dips. You're going to have spikes. As long as you're preparing long term and you don't have this day trader mentality, day trading is fine if you want to do that, if you're good at it. But if you're just trying to get yourself involved in this, you're just trying to save some money, you're just trying to create financial freedom, a little bit of wealth for yourself, plan long term. Unless you think you're dying next month or next year, plan for, have a one-year plan, a three-year plan, a five-year plan, a 10-year plan, a 20-year plan, and just slowly work at these things. These things don't have to be done tomorrow. 
but they do need to be done. If you want to have any kind of success and any kind of protection against the crippling of our financial system, get yourself educated on this as much as possible. Watch some YouTubers. I'm going to try to put out more and more videos on this to try to help people because that's all I really want to do. A lot of people don't know these things. I was blessed enough to have, a, like my dad is very phenomenal with finances and understanding how these things work and why it's important to save and all that. So I was lucky in that department because I had somebody instilling this stuff into me from an early age. Schools don't do it. The government don't do it. The people that have money that have lots of money, the elite people in power, they want you to have none. Because the more you have, it's less that they can get a hold of. They want it all. They don't care about you, they never will. They're gonna make these laws and they're gonna pretend, they're gonna put on a show for the press conferences and the government's gonna put on these things. Oh, we wanna help people and we wanna help this and we wanna make sure your life is better. They don't care about you, they don't. Is if The sooner you understand that and the less you believe their BS, the better off you'll be. So I hope this helps. I'm going to put out more videos for you guys. Hopefully we can get, if you're in any kind of a financial struggle or any kind of a funk, hopefully I can help you, like guide you to a way of protecting yourself and getting you out of that. Because that's all we all really want. We want to be able to provide for our families, feed ourselves and have nice things without the government constantly screwing you and taking every dime they can from you. So I love you guys and I'll, I'll talk to you soon. All right. See ya.